Welcome guys, this is Fabrizio Romano with a new YouTube video and today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. Even during the holidays, online security matters, that's where NordVPN steps up. When I'm resting from transfers and scrolling through my socials, NordVPN is working hard to shield my personal data and online activities from prying eyes. No more about using public Wi-Fi, it's like having my private network everywhere I go. So whether I'm sharing news or making online transactions, NordVPN's got my back. It's like having a digital bodyguard for my online life. So to grab my huge discount of your NordVPN plan, go to nordvpn.com slash here we go and you can also receive an extra four months for free and there is no risk with Nord's 30 day money back. Guarantee. The link is in the description below. Here we go. And so guys, it's important today to start with the situation of Joao Felix because he's one of the big names of the transfer window. And you remember that exclusive interview I had with him in July, a very important one when Joao said, my dream is Barcelona. I want to go to Barcelona. So my dream is very clear and it's gonna remain Barcelona one day. So Joao sent a very clear message. What I can tell you today is that after the deal collapsed at the beginning of August with Alilal, because there was no agreement with Atletico Madrid and also on how to make the deal happen with the player, now from Saudi, some clubs are returning to inquire about Joe Felix. So there are new approaches from Saudi for Joe Felix in the last 24 hours. Now what happens? What I'm hearing is that Joao Felix is still waiting for Barcelona and Joao will wait for Barcelona. I always told you in July, many people say it's impossible. I always keep saying that Joao Felix will wait for Barca. Then if Barca can't make it happen or if Bar Barca decide against that deal, Joao Felix will consider other opportunities like Saudi possibility, we will see. But as of now, Joao wants to wait for Barcelona till the end of the European transfer window. So Barca are still there, Joao Felix is still waiting for Barcelona as big dream and as big priority. Then it's important to reach an agreement, of course, between clubs with Atletico Madrid. This is why Saudi clubs are asking again about the situation of Joao Felix. Then let me mention Romelu Lukaku, important hours, because it's true, as reported in England, that Chelsea are now open to find a solution also a loan for Romelu Lukaku, a loan with an important loan fee, covering the salary, so there are many things into this loan, it's not just a normal loan. And this is why Chelsea want to take their time before giving the green light. It's true that Chelsea and Roma are having direct contacts, so Roma have entered the race. Why? Because Juventus uh, had an agreement with the player on personal terms, but Juventus, with Vlaovic staying, can't make the Lukaku deal happen. So the only way for Juventus, for the financial reasons, and also probably technical reasons, is to sell Vlaovic, which is almost impossible at this point of the window. Then, never say never, but as of today, nothing is going on for Vlaovic. So Roma are entering into this story. They approach Chelsea, the relationship between owners is very good, and Roma will try to discuss with Chelsea about the loan fee, the coverage of the salary, and all these kind of details. At the moment, they had an opening contact, let's see if they can reach an agreement between clubs and also uh, they want to make that while they negotiate on player side. They know that Lukaku wants to return to Italy and wants to continue in Europe, but it's important also to get the final green light. So Roma working on the Lukaku deal is not done. In that case, would be a loan with no obligation to buy. A straight loan till the end of the season. That would be the idea around Romelu uh, Lukaku. Also important to mention Sofia Amrabat, guys. Many questions every single day. What I can tell you is that as of today, Yesterday, the CEO of Fiorentina, Barone, said we have still not received any official bid for uh, uh, Sofian Amrabat. What I can say today is that Amrabat is still waiting for Manchester United as priority. So Amrabat, since the end of June, is waiting and waiting and waiting for May United. Now, guys, it's on May United. Uh, again, uh, to make an official bid, we know they are waiting to find a solution for Donny van de Beek or maybe for Scott McTominay. So it will depend on an exit in the midfield. But Amrabat is still waiting for United. Let's see if United will arrive. Let's see if United will make an official bid. At the moment, the only contacts are on player side since the end of June, not yet on club side. So let's see what United will decide to do. But let me say that Amrabat is doing everything to go my United. Waiting, waiting and waiting. So let's follow up on that one in the next days. Fowler in Balogun will leave 
Premier League football. Despite all the rumors about Chelsea, I told you there was a discussion between the agents and Chelsea, but because they were close in the Romeo Lavia deal and they are the same agents of Balogun, so they had a discussion about Balogun's situation in general, but it's very normal in football to meet and to speak about multiple players with an important agent. But now Flo Balogun is going to Monaco. The agreement is imminent, something around 45 million euros, just discussing about um, the payment terms, Arsenal want good payment terms for the deal, so they are discussing about the final details, and then it's gonna be here we go for Flo Balogun with a medical test over the weekend, probably, and Balogun leaving Arsenal on permanent transfer to join, uh, in this case, Monaco, back to Liga. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories, Joao Felix, Romero Lukaku, but also the situation of Sofian Amrabat and Balogun. I wait for your comments. Here as always, remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio.